Hello my friends, my name is Andrea Croci, if you don't know me, I'm a mindset coach and a personal trainer. Uh, I welcome you uh, to my playlist and uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so in this video I'm going to talk about fears, what it is, how you can use it and uh, how you can overcome it. So let's get start on that. Uh, what is fear? Fear is a uh, um, primordial sensation created by the brain to technically protect us because uh, in the past, in the ancient history, uh, we were subjected to basically be eaten by predators when we, you know, when we were cavemen and things. So the brain, uh, although evolved, still has instinct of self-preservation that is not going to die in any time soon. So the only way to overcome it, is, which I'll talk about at the end of this video, so stick to it, uh, is first of all to learn it, to understand what it is. So if you are, fear, uh, if you are fearful, you have many fears, you will need to become aware of it. So by becoming aware of your fears, you will have a better chance to develop a strategy to uh, confront it. Why you need to confront fears? That uh, will be our next step. Before that, I want to give you a couple of examples of what it is fear. There's various fears that could be, depending on you you make the phrase, you, you can you say there are thousands of fears. But just to name a few, there's fears of public speaking, which when you speak to an audience, there's fear of, like myself, I fear recording in public, uh, but it's something that I'm overcoming, because obviously this is like a seven or eighth video I made, and I'm making all my videos in the park. Uh, a common fear among especially healers and uh, professionally in the holistic therapy is the fear of not being good enough which means that although you study a lot although uh, you have excellent reviews you have a good flow of uh, people asking for your services you still have this fear this feeling that you're not good enough that you need to improve that we can always improve, but the, the fear that not improving at a decent rate is a fear that is quite common nowadays because uh, probably due to the internet we, have, we are exposed to so many we can call uh, competitors uh, but in reality the competitors the only competitors we have is ourselves uh, how you, you how can you use fear you can use fear as a signpost the, the once you realize once you as I said become aware of the fear you will be able to investigate and study how to overcome it uh, so you can use it to fuel your goal for example or I'm not sure if that I say correctly you can use the fear to find a way to release it so use fear as a mo uh, motivational things not as an excuse so you can have the excuse of not being good enough so I fear not being good enough so you excusing yourself you making an excuse to not do an advertisement but because if you use that fear in a positive way you switch switch it or uh, i forgot the terms you uh, switch that fear from that that excuse to uh, motivation so because i'm not good enough i need to practice and how best way to practice is not have more people uh, after, who need my survey and uh, who are looking after my survey so if someone is looking after my survey is seeking uh, my service if I advertise if I do advertisement I release that excuse 
and uh, I overcome the fear because once I start having more clients, uh, clients will give me a review and I will be more self-confident, I will build more self-confidence to release the fear of me be, I'm not being good enough. There's another thing that I wanted to say, what it is. So as long as you use as the, the fear as an excuse, you are avoiding it. So that the term says you're resisting it. So anything that you resist will persist in that place, will persist inside of you. So as long as you maintain the fear, the fear will not go away. But once you embrace it and you use it to create a change, because change is the only constant in, a, in our lifespan, change is constant. Every time we will have a change, uh, if you use that, that fear to change the, the situation, then it will transcend. It will, I'm not sure if they have the right uh, pronunciation it will fade, it will lose the, the power over you. There's many, I'm a, I love movies, so there are many movies uh, about transcending fear. Uh, I think I love the most is The Peaceful Warrior. And uh, that is uh, a guy, it's an athlete who do rings. I'm not sure how it's called. Uh, you need to go to the Olympics to use the rings, uh, to perform on the rings, which is very challenging. Uh, but he breaks his leg, one of his leg, he shatters his femurs in uh, many pieces, and he's been told by the doctors that he will never, maybe not even able to run, he just been to limp, to, to walk very badly. But he takes uh, less than a year, or about a year, and he goes to the Olympics. That's, this is really bad review of the movie. Yeah, so it, it, watch it. Uh, I think I'll, uh, I'll put the link of the video. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. Uh, of course, not for free, but you can find it on YouTube and it's really worth your money. And uh, you can, I suggest you to watch it at least three or four times. It's called The Peaceful Warrior. Uh, so any, any kind of fears that you, you fight, you resist, it will persist in your life. So uh, as long as you don't confront your fears, they will be there hunting you down, basically. So that's uh, how you use fear. You use fear to uh, give you the motivation to take the right action. So now how can you overcome fear? You overcome fear using it and taking the right action. So I'm doing a public recording. Someone just passed by me and uh, uh, in previous video I just stopped recording and uh, I have to start all over again. But it's not really important what happened in surrounding as long as uh, I'm present in the moment and I know I'm telling you something that it will be valuable valuable for you so uh, overcoming fear it's a task that it really happened in a second it's not it's not something that takes ear it takes ear to understand how to let it go it's it's really sudden it, some people say you know it took me 10 years to enroll in a, a weight loss program. No, it's not true. That it took you a second to enroll. It took you a minute. It, it took you 10 years to understand that you had no other choice to enroll, to be motivated enough to lose weight. That's an example of what I'm saying. Overcoming fear, it, it, it's something that is really sudden and there's not time frame to it. It's something that could happen today or in 10 years time, but the, the speed in which happen is totally up to you. And uh, so finally we reach the end of all this video. And uh, I know I talk a lot and something that uh, it's 
kind of weakness and strength uh, strength of mine because all the feedback I receive from my clients and the people I work with always tell me Andrea you explain things you take the time to uh, make people understand and I hope that what I did with this video and to conclude about how you overcome your fears that's about that how you overcome your fear by by facing it uh, I'm facing it here as you might have noticed this is not uh, the same day of the video that you were watching a few seconds ago because the audio was not working properly so I had to face my fear come back here although as much more background noise as people with the speakers and uh, making uh, doing physical exercise there are a few people set uh, that sit down just a few meters from me so I'm I'm facing my own fears by coming back here and uh, concluding this video because I already invested more than three hours in editing the previous video and I, I was just thinking before uh, uh, playing uh, records before pressing records I was thinking ah, you know I make the whole video from scratch again so it will be more linear will be just like one big video instead of vi several videos but that would be falling for my own fears that would be giving up not facing it not confronting it because my confrontation with my fears of, of speaking is just like you know avoiding confrontation and just make one one video and that's it but I said no I, I'm making a video to confront the fear so I'm confronting my own fears uh, in terms of how can I help you the only way I can help you outside this video is for you to get in touch with me and uh, have a, a complimentary consultation call about coaching and we can explore your fears we can explore your awareness around your fears we can uh, explore and try to understand what would uh, allow you to overcome them and if you of course are willing to overcome them because I'm willingly sitting here nobody's forcing me I have to force myself although it's that I don't like this terminology I'm not, I'm not forcing myself I'm choosing to confront the fears by ending this video uh, so if you feel uh, it's time to take the right action to confront your fears to start getting to know your fears to invite them for coffee like Robin Sharma used to say uh, invite your fears for tea have a talk with them and uh, you will see they're not so scary as you think uh, I think that's enough for this video thank you very much for watching it uh, at the end you can see the my social media and you can uh, uh, click the link in the description to book a call and to follow up on uh, Instagram and YouTube uh, sorry on Facebook so thank you very much again and have a good day.